What's up, turdlings? Today we're going to be talking about the nine early game combat lineup compositions. Turd Tips by Turd Nugent. One of the most commonly discussed topics in Last Fortress is what heroes to use in your lineups, what heroes go good together, what levels should they be, etc. But there is a concept equally as important that we should be considering before we make all those decisions. And that concept is our lineup composition. The easiest way for me to describe what a lineup concept is, is if we take a journey back to when you were just a wee little turdling, back to the beginning of the game, when you had one truck that held three heroes. You keep doing your research and very soon you unlock a spot in your first truck for a fourth hero. Not long after that, you'll end up unlocking another truck that has slots enough for three heroes in it. At this point in the game is where you make your first decision on what your hero lineup composition is going to look like. Do you dedicate all your resources to the first team and just make them really strong? Or do you split your resources between two teams so that you can have two trucks going at once? What most players end up doing is making their first team their stronger heroes, since there's four of them, and their second team they still want to level and dedicate resources to, but this team ends up being a little bit weaker than the first team. As you keep progressing your research, it won't be long until you get a fifth hero for your first truck, and a fourth hero for your second truck, and you unlock a third truck with three heroes in it. At this point in the game, you've learned about three of the nine lineup compositions that you can do in the early game. The first being dedicating all your resources to one team, just filling one truck with heroes, that's it, just make them as powerful as possible. The next concept is having one strong team and one weaker team. And the third concept is having one strong team, one weaker team, and one even weaker team. Do you notice how the game is training you to create a hierarchy within your teams from strongest to weakest? The next research you complete will either be the fifth hero in your second truck or the fourth hero in your third truck. Either one of these researches is going to unlock new possible build compositions as it will be the first time that you have two trucks that can both hold the same amount of heroes. So you're now faced with the decision, do I keep a primary lineup or do I balance the power of those two trucks? When you complete your final vehicle research and unlock the fifth hero slot in your third truck, you will now have access to all nine of the different early game lineup compositions. We're gonna be taking a deep dive into each of the nine different lineup compositions discussing what aspects of the game different compositions excel at, what aspects of the game different ones are weak at. We're going to be comparing the different compositions to help you decide which one best fits your play style and when you should consider changing it up. But before we do, let's take a quick look at the four different composition phases of the game. We just journeyed through the beginning phase of the game which is when you first start playing until you unlock the fifth hero slot for your third truck. Early game is from that point until you have enough memento with resetting all of your heroes to make one truck that has all level 100 heroes. Mid game is from that point until all three of your trucks have max level heroes and then you're in the late game. Today, we're specifically going to be talking about the lineups accessible in early game because the concepts from these lineups can be applied in beginning, early game, and mid game. Now, there are three core concepts behind each of the nine different compositions. The first concept is do you have one, two, or three lineups within your composition? The more lineups you have, the more quickly you can deploy attacks. However, the fewer lineups you have, the more powerful your heroes are within those lineups and therefore the more powerful the overall lineup is. Fewer lineups means you aren't distributing your resources such as memento and metals and gear among 
more heroes, you're using all of it to superpower one or two lineups. The second concept is, do you have a primary lineup and a couple secondaries or a secondary and a tertiary, or are your lineups balanced? The third concept is, is your lineup split or static? Now this concept is a little bit complex. We're gonna discuss it very shortly. I'm gonna break it down so it's pretty simple for you, but this concept really makes for some powerful interactions. So let's play a game together. We're gonna to take one pool of heroes and a million memento coins, and we're gonna build each lineup composition. So these are the 20 heroes that we're gonna be working with today. Notice that the rank of the heroes varies quite drastically, as this will be likely the case with most people's hero pools at this stage of the game. The first composition we're gonna craft with our pool of heroes and our 1 million memento coins is gonna be what I call the one truck. The one truck is just that, one lineup for one truck. The one truck is gonna be the first lineup you use at the start of the game. It is the very best lineup you can use for explore, expedition, arena, and large target farming, such as when you first get to mutated or trying to push higher levels of mutated, when you first unlock bauxite mines and trying to push higher levels of them and attacking large players. At the same time, it is the very worst lineup you can have for summit arena, champion duel, or small target farming, or even mid target farming, these would be targets that you don't really have a problem defeating, and so you don't really need your heroes as powerful as they are in this build. When you first start out the game, Summit and Arena and Champion Duel are not unlocked, so this can be a really powerful build to use very early on as you're progressing, as it really excels at many of the concepts that you'll be facing. The one downside to it is when you are farming NPCs and other players, your attacks will be slow going because you only have one truck. Once Summit Arena and Champion Duel unlock, the only time you should be running the one truck composition is if you just reset all of your heroes specifically for pushing Explore. Take note that our 1 million memento coins got us one level 80 and four level 75 heroes. Also with the one truck being that we only have five heroes, this means that we're going to be investing our medals and focusing our gear all on these five heroes. Next, we have the one plus one composition. This composition utilizes two trucks comprised of a primary lineup and a secondary lineup. Notice how we lost our level 80 hero from the one truck and used that memento coin to create our entire second lineup of level 65 heroes. We're also gonna be dividing our medals and our gear among 10 heroes now instead of five. This is gonna cause us to lose some power on the top end against larger targets that require a single more powerful lineup but it's going to enable us to have a secondary lineup. Due to this, we're gonna be losing some of our ability to take on stronger targets or push things like explore even further, but we're actually going to be able to compete in Summit Arena and Champion Duel and improve our target farming by being able to deploy more attacks at once. Next, we have the one, two, three composition. This composition maintains our powerful primary lineup at level 75. However, it sacrifices our level 65s in our second lineup to make a third lineup at level 55, slightly below our second lineup. Now, this lineup is gonna sacrifice a little bit of power in Expedition, Summit Arena, and mid-sized target farming compared to the one, two lineup However, it's going to gain some ability to do small target farming as you now have a third lineup that enables you to deploy attacks on small easy targets more rapidly. Next, we have the 2 plus 1 composition. 
The concept of this composition is to have two primary lineups with a third not too far behind. In order to do so, we have to sacrifice significant power from our primary lineup to balance out our secondary lineup and increase the strength of our third lineup. This is gonna cause us to weaken our ability to push explore, to compete in the arena, and to do large target farming. However, this is gonna significantly improve our small and medium target farming. The fifth composition is the two balance. The two balance utilizes two lineups which are both balanced in power. Compared to the two plus one we just looked at, we're sacrificing our third lineup to give an extra five levels to one hero in each of the lineups. This is gonna slow down our small target farming speed. However, it's going to very significantly improve our medium target farming along with Summit Arena and Champion Duel. Our large target farming, Arena, Expedition, and Explore will still be lacking with the two balance as we are not focused on one primary lineup. The sixth composition is the one plus two. This composition runs one primary lineup and two balanced secondary lineups. The goal of this composition is to maintain some ability to perform aspects of the game that require one strong lineup while maximizing our small target farming. The last of our static lineups is gonna be the three balance. The three balance utilizes three lineups that are all balanced in level. The goal here is to maximize your small and medium target farming. This is somewhat ideal for players who log in, want to spam attacks and log out because you don't have much time to play. Or if you are a big money spender and you're already so far ahead of everybody that any one of your lineups is going to be more powerful than anybody else in the game, go ahead and do the three balance because it doesn't matter at that point anyway. The three balance is the composition we will all be using when we get to the end game phase and all of our heroes in all of our lineups are level 100. And now get ready for the master class because next we're gonna be talking about split lineup compositions. A split lineup is a single lineup designed to push the hard content in the game and do large target farming while at the same time being designed to be split up into multiple lineups for small and medium target farming as well as aspects of the game that require multiple lineups such as Summit Arena and Champion Duel. For the two split composition, we have two level 80 backline heroes, one level 70 backline hero, and two level 65 frontline heroes. Those are gonna be our five primary within the two split. And then our secondaries are going to be three more level 70 backline heroes and two more level 65 tanks. What this is gonna do is it's gonna enable us to split up our primary lineup into two lineups that each have a level 80 backline hero, two level 70 backline heroes, and two level 65 frontline heroes. So, the two lineups are going to be balanced that we split from our one primary. So this enables us to have two strong, balanced secondary lineups while also having one very strong primary lineup. We are utilizing 10 heroes here. We're just using five for one lineup and then we're splitting it and utilizing all 10 for two lineups. So with a split lineup, you're able to use your primary lineup for aspects such as explore, expedition, arena, and large target farming. But then when you need to go to summit arena, champion duel, or small and medium target farming, you use your two split lineups instead. The ninth and final lineup composition is the three split. The three split functions much like the two split, with the exception that we sacrifice a little bit of power in our primary lineup and a little bit of power 
in our secondary lineups to be able to split into three lineups. This enables us to further accelerate our small target farming with three attacks at a time while also maintaining some of the concepts that make the two split really excel. Possibly the best concept of a split lineup setup is in Champion Duel or Summit Arena. If you believe that your opponent is going to have a specific lineup, you can adjust the way your three split is set up or your two split to counter that lineup. An example of this would be moving two of your level 75s into the same lineup to make that one lineup stronger to counter their secondary lineup, their primary lineup, something like that. And you just leave one with your level 65s or 6570s, something like that. So you can dynamically adjust how you split your different lineups. The split lineups are more difficult to build than our static lineups. However, that difficulty comes with a pretty significant power spike. The three split is by far the most difficult of all of the lineups that we're looking at today because you need one team that can be split into three teams. You need those teams to be able to be dynamic and intermingle the heroes with one another so that you have that ability to adjust your lineups based on what your opponent is doing. So this adds a lot of complexity and you need the heroes to support it. So the power of split lineups does come at a cost, especially the three split. But if you can overcome those challenges of building a three split, it is quite a powerful build. Now let's take a look at a comparison of all of the builds plotted together. So in the left column here, we have what I like to call the assassin. The assassin is designed specifically for taking down strong targets, defeating players in the champion arena, attacking large players, etc. Our best assassin is going to be the one truck as all of our resources such as memento coins, hero medals, and equipment are going to be dedicated specifically to the five heroes in the one truck. As we progress to the right, we get into what I like to call the brawler compositions. These are going to be compositions that are deploying attacks with as many trucks as possible as rapidly as possible at small to medium targets. Our number one brawler is the three balance as we saw before. However, the three balance isn't really effective at anything else, similar to how the one truck isn't effective at anything other than taking down a single target. So we can see we have some fairly balanced builds in the center here, with the one plus one being a little bit stronger on the assassin side, the one plus two being a nice, well-rounded build, a couple builds falling behind the others. However, the builds that excel the most out of all are the split builds, the two split being more assassin, and the three split being more well-rounded. Do keep in mind that the split builds are more challenging to build, but as you can see from this graph, it pays off. I will be linking a slide deck in the video description so you can go back through, reference the build concepts, uh, take a look at this comparison chart more closely, etc. But before you go, there's one more concept I want to share with you on this topic. Here we have a hero leveling table showing the level of hero, the memento coin to level that hero up to that level, the total memento coin required to get a hero from level zero to that level, and then the percentage of memento coin required if you were to reset this hero to get another hero one level higher. So this column here 
is going to impact what builds we use at what stages in the game. As you can see, by resetting a level 70 hero, you cannot level another hero up. You need to reset two level 70s to level another hero up. However, later on with level 90s, you reset one of them. You can put two heroes from 90 to 95 with the, with the memento you had from resetting one of them. The reason this information is so critical is because it can impact what build you should be running at what stage of the game you're at. For example, if you currently have a three balance build at all level 70 and you're debating switching to a two balance by resetting five of those heroes and leveling up your other 10, you're not going to be able to. By resetting five heroes at level 70, you're only going to be able to level up two of the other heroes at level 70 up to level 75. So at this level, it does not make sense to switch out a three balance for a two balance. However, if you had a three balance at level 90, you could reset five of those heroes and make a two balance at level 95, which might be quite beneficial in some scenarios. So just keep in mind that sometimes when you change up your build, if the new build isn't working, it may not be because of the build, but because of the amount of memento coin you have to invest in that build and what level it brings your heroes to. It could very well be that once you hit another stage and can level up your heroes five levels higher, that new build is gonna be much more powerful than it was with the heroes at the last level compared to using your previous build. This concludes the guide for early game combat lineup compositions. If you have any questions about what was discussed today or suggestions for additional content you would like to see on this channel, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button to support this channel and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. To all you turdlings out there, thank you for watching and stay solid.